WTF reincarnate starting the 1980 season got the Super Bowl game Brookston Fowler myself is the Bills with the regular season record of 9 and 7 5 seed coming into the playoffs here barely eked in after tie break to get the number 5 wild card seed then uh, pass through the other wild card Detroit Lions manned by Nos close game on to face division rival Kansas City number one seed in the uh, if you go round one AFC playoffs. One man game, very close matchup as well. Chance to play division champion the Giants. One man game, 14 to 3. There's some good defense. Now face number one. Vikings in the NFC got the first round by easily won that first round matchup in the play in then had a heck of a game versus Green Bay Packers man by stall talk staved off a last second would be game winning touchdown to advance to the Super Bowl this is uh, if you will an historic Inaugural season Super Bowl. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't mean any more than any other championship game, but it is a title game. I'm excited to be here. I'm sure Mr. Huna is as well. Going through the lineups here. We've got uh, Buffalo's quarterback Joe Ferguson came back from an injury sustained in week, uh, and the wild was a wild card or. I think he got injured versus Kansas City, actually. He's back. Uh, Franco Harris, starting running back with Ahmad Rashad, Francis Wallace as wingmen. Um, in Minnesota, we've got Tommy Kramer taking snaps in the starting slot. Um, starting running back, Calhoun has been injured in last week's matchup versus Green Bay, so he will be taking a seat for backup running back Morris. Looks like and with Large and Johnson. Tons of wideouts. Defenses are fairly comparable on both ends. The Buffalo have a have an average yet stout secondary um, and some standout players in the front seven Jack Lambert and uh, Dean on the D-line Camp sports a pretty formidable front seven I would say with uh, Bill Berge Tim Hendricks LB Core and I can't remember the name of his defensive back, but, you know, a solid defensive back crew. I'll probably shut up now and just play the game. Let's take a look at his uh, yeah his front line is pretty formidable there and fairly stout defensive back line so looks like it could be defensive battle here we'll have to see what goes down
I'm super cold for some reason. Could just be nerves. Here we go. sacker this year. changes dramatically on the conditions front. Um, Shunner might get the nod here though. As he goes into good. Ready, down, put. 
within field goal range. So what he sets up a short field if it's if he's out of range, right? That's a tough call to make. I don't know. I don't know if he's within range. I don't know if this dude can nail a 65 or a 55 yarder. He's <laughs> going for it. Fourth and two worked out for me last time. We'll see if it does this time. field goal range for him.
Tommy Boy went back into average, so he should probably get it on there. Super Bowl, I see if I can't get the Mighty Bomb Jack show to show up. Guess who's coming in? Craig Morton himself. Good. And so is Ted Hendricks. Ready, down, put, 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 put,
connect. This is it, baby. This is it. This is it, baby. This is it. <laughs> oh! Keith Wright hasn't played a single minute all year. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Woo! Thank you.